This makes me happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait a minute and welcome. My name is Shishanime and welcome back to the Fruit of Grisaya. Now, I believe this is part 54. And we're starting out with the lovely CG of Kazumi and Sachi greeting each other in the morning. And I am very, very excited to see how the studying bit goes here to challenge Sachi to see what limits her intelligence has. So, let's see if we can push the limits and see if we can find a breaking point to get through to Sachi. So guys, Ikabashoka! That was a good slap. Woof. I enter the classroom a little before the time we agreed to meet. Sachi is already waiting inside, which I could imagine. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah, we did have a promise. Mm. Anyway, you came in uniform? Really? Uh, we are class rep to the core, aren't you? Oh, yeah, she's right. I see. I'm pretty sure Sachi's the only one who's ever bothered to read the fine print at the back of the booklet. Of that booklet. But fair enough. Uh, no. Nah, to be honest, I'm having a hard time picturing you as a bleached blonde cinder. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait, uh, huh? Well, no, I'll, I'll leave that to your discretion. Yeah, just do it whatever you want. <laughs> anyway, I guess the first question is how sh how we should go about testing you. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up! <laughs> I just started. I started, and you're already asking away questions. Hold on. Uh, kissing practice. I mean, I didn't think that was the test. Please give me a coherent explanation of how you arrived at that conclusion, please. Uh... That's actually kind of cute. I appreciate the thought, but your jokes tend to have the opposite effect. Ouch. <laughs> oh, wow. She took that way more tart than I expected. Things have already taken a dubious turn, but there's no going back now. Alright, I guess I'll choose some questions from, mater from material we'll probably be learning in the fall. Feel like starting with any subject in oh, sorry. Let me try that again. Feel like starting with sub with any subject in particular. So this is Yeah, that is math. I see. In that case, let's start with math and see how far you can go in a day's worth of study. Hi. Ooh. Oh, this is adorable. Alright, next up is a square root problem. Think you can handle it? Square root problem? Oh man, I used to do tons of them. Yep. I, I was really good at square root stuff, so that was my field. I used to be really good at this stuff. Yeah, Correct. As soon as I start actually offering her problems, I'm startled all over again by Sachi's academic skills. All the questions I'm given are from sections of the textbook we haven't learned in class yet, and she's solving them with apparent ease. That doesn't change when I start mixing in my own original problems, either, so either, so it's clear that she didn't just mindlessly memorize the textbook. Well, <laughs> if she memorized the entire textbook, that'd still be impressive. So, so, what... What did you study... Wait, uh, uh, those commas look so weird. So, take away the comment for the second one. So, what did you study this yesterday? So... Oh, actually that whole beginning bit's weird. So, what? Did you start... study... Did you study this yesterday as well? I butchered that sentence. I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, just how much did you get through? Damn. Why not just say Sibeti instead of uh, Bubun? So she delivers this line with her usual calm smile, but if what she's saying is true, 
She mastered nearly an entire year's worth of material in a single day. She did that all in one day. I guess that would explain how she's been answering problems we won't be looking at for months so easily. Just for reference, what time did you get to bed last night? What? You pulled an all-nighter? Plausible in Sachi's case, but I've got one very simple question. Why did you feel the need to try that hard? Yeah. Well, I guess, sure, but that's hardly a reason to stay up all night. In an admirable display of dexterity, Sachi tilts her head to the middle of... To, oh, sorry, to the side in confusion, even as she's nodding her consent. I had similar thoughts about her ridiculous daily preparation for class, but this only confirms my impression. The girl puts in unbelievable effort for the flimsiest of reasons. True, you can wrap everything up just by calling Sachi diligent by nature, but I have a feeling... That behavior has something to do with why she's in this school in the first place. I would 100% agree. Well, whatever the case, I have to admit you've taken me by surprise here. I didn't expect you to do this quite... This... I didn't expect you to be quite this impressive. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the range of problems you sold already would be more than enough to amaze the others. Hmm, that's a good question. Should we continue on or nah? Michiru and company asked me to find Sachi's limits, as long as she's continuing to answer the questions correctly. It'd be premature to end the testing. Well, as long as it's alright with you. Mind playing along a little longer? Uh, please change the wording of that one. Are you doing this on purpose? Yeah, I think she is. By the sun touched the horizon, Sachi had worked her way into questions from next year's maths curriculum without a single mistake. And so we agreed to spend testing for the evening and continue tomorrow. Oh my god. She's a beast. Okay, I guess I've done my morning exercise. When I return to the school grounds after my daily running session, Sachi greets me with the broom in hand. Sweeping the courtyard today, I see. Oh, wow. Not that diligence is a bad thing, but it feels like you're in the middle of some chore every time I run into you. Hmm, are you really capable of that? That's a good question. Three months? In that case, I think I'd rather see you working hard like always. Three months for that? Oh. Oh? Hello? Trotting over to a bucket full of ice sitting in the shade of a tree, Sachi retrieves a bottle of water and brings it back to me. Oh, That's adorable. You had this waiting for me? Hey, at least we don't have to worry about Armine sneaking into our room, right? I see. Thanks. I appreciate it. With a few words of thanks, I accept the plastic bottle from Sachi, then drop myself onto a nearby bench and quickly gulp it down. <sighs> tasty. Yeah, tasty indeed. It looked like a plain bottle of water, but there's a bit of lemon juice and honey added for flavour. Oh wow! Oh, oh wow, okay. Another thoughtful touch on Sachi's part. Typical that she's the girl that... Typical that the girl didn't say anything about the extra effort she put in. Yeah, she always goes the extra mile, no matter what. Even if it's something you never even asked her to do. Why not mention it? Might have gotten some of that praise she liked so much. Maybe she wants you to realise and then praise her. It could be... It could be a strategy. You never know. Right, there we go. Considering her request for compliments, Sachi doesn't exactly flaunt her accomplishments. Then again, that clumsy, selfless side of her personality is probably part of what makes her impossible to dislike. 
As I'm pondering these matters, Sachi returns to her cleaning. The hell time? Oh, yeah, it's another Mac in the song, isn't it? Hey, Sachi, can you maybe give this particular song a rest? Yes. Uh, or, well, no, to be perfectly frank, it doesn't really work for you. And made cheerfully singing gruesome jingles as she cleans is just too surreal. <laughs> Oh, wow, what type of life are you going to get a song for that? Right, I get the picture. Looks like I'll have to take this up with our budding songwriter. <laughs> but either way, you really seem to enjoy sweeping. Oh, hold on. Oh, okay, we've got some background. Your parents sound like nice people. This stuff, yep, she is, uh, they're dead. Past tense, huh? This is the first time I've heard Sachi talk about her parents, but her expression visibly softened when she mentioned them. Even putting that aside, her pathologically honest personality, you can tell from a look at her face that she's not lying about how much she loved them. Oh, you can tell. Dudes. Come to think of it, I did have one other acquaintance who enjoyed cleaning up. Although that was a long time ago. Oh, okay. Come on, what's it look like I'm doing? I'm picking up the trash. I mean, next time I come here to play, wouldn't it be nicer to find a place clean? Oh, that's adorable. She was the sort of kid who'd actually go around picking up the garbage scattered around the playground after playing. A she. A she. Hold on a minute, a she. That's got to be Sachi then. That's got to be Sachi. Come on. You cannot fool me that Sachi. Like Sachi said herself, she likes cleaning. Right? And she was praised for it. That's got to be Yuji meeting Sachi when they were younger. It's got to be. I think she was younger than me. But the sheer energy and forceful personality made it feel like the opposite. The girl was a genuine tomboy. Constantly laughing and running around. Tomboy? Hold on a minute. Tomboy? But I would have thought that Sachi would have fit the bill. I, I don't think I've seen Sachi turn, dress up as a tomboy either. God damn it, that makes this... Is it, wait, have I got this wrong? Have I got this wrong? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, genuine tomboy. Pretty much the polar opposite of our docile mate like Sachi. Yeah, I was going to say, that seems a bit, a bit wrong. No, it's nothing. But still, it's pretty unusual for me to remember something from before I've met my master. Since my memories before that point are pretty much all ones I'd rather erase from my mind, that was a nice one, I'm guessing. Oh damn, the pen. In, otherwise, in the otherwise quiet classroom, the constant movement of pen on paper is the only real sound. After lunch, Sachi and I picked up the testing where we left off yesterday. I've got to think for a second, hold up. Hmm, so Yuji knows a tomboy who has a cleaning thing and likes cleaning just like Sachi does, and she used to get prayed for it when her parents were around, but she doesn't dress up like a tom- It's got to, the only person I can think about that I would have any relevance to would be Sachi, it's gotta be, so Sachi was a tomboy. Do you know what? I like that. If, if, if it is Sachi, that's awesome. That is awesome. I wonder what a tomboy Sachi would actually look like in, uh, uh, well, this time. Like right now, here now. After lunch, Sachi and I picked up. Oh, yeah, there we go. I already read that. Kazami senpai, ima hen na tokoro mite masen deshita? Huh? Sachi covers her chest with both hands, as if only now realizing that I'm watching her. You're really taking on the damn Mitchley personality. Continuing in the same tone, she offers me a quotish, a quotish smile. And what if I am? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. 
風見先輩がどうしてもって言うなら女の子のこと<笑>私が教えてあげます<笑> Well then、um, I'm intrigued Go on、uh, Spurned on by the intimate atmosphere of a one-on-one -on -one meeting a younger girl summons up her courage and makes a flirtatious approach Normally this is exactly the sort of gift horse No red blooded man would think twice about accepting but wonder why I'm not getting even slightly in the mood Um. <laughs> 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 Actually, no, this feels like Armin speaking. Okay, you can stop the act. <laughs> 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 It was like, yep, sorry, I didn't even twitch. <laughs> Damn. Yikes, that hurts. Once I gave the, give the signal, Sachi's attitude snaps instantly back to normal. <laughs> No, if anything, I think you're a bit too convincing. Yeah. You, she done good. If I didn't know Sachi, I'm pretty sure I would have bought that as her re as a real personality. But since I do, the contrast was kind of bizarre. Ah, do you have any sense of shame to cast aside in the first place? <laughs> Well, she did clean the bathhouse with her dress at one point. Hum. Not sure if I agree with you there. In my experience, shy people don't generally take their clothes off in front of others. Oh, yeah. Really? Um. Please explain. Does she seriously believe that? The girl's definitely something else. Although, in this case, that's not necessarily a compliment. Oh. <laughs> right. Guess it was sort of my modest attempt at getting back at you for coming so well prepared. No, it wasn't that. <laughs> well, the point of this is to determine the limits of. Of your academic ability. But the more you study, the more your limits go up, right? Don't yawn! Ah. There we go. Not yawning. At this rate, the testing might never actually end. Mm. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm giving her problems even harder than yesterday's, and she's still working her way smoothly through every question. No, it's fine. No, it's my fault for not saying anything about cramming beforehand. Just try not to approach this quite so seriously from now on. Yes, what? I um, but isn't the point to test her limits and if she doesn't take it seriously, doesn't that feel kind of wasted? I briefly drop my hand onto Sanchi's head as we speak. As soon as a sm and soon receive a smile in return. Yay! Oh? Oh, okay. What? <laughs> Do I like smart girls? <laughs> um, no. Nah. It's just that the younger women I've known tended to act something like that. Oh, well, when I was talking to you in the courtyard earlier, I remembered one in particular. It struck me with that girl. Struck me that this girl was pretty much the exact opposite of an obedient maid type like you, Sachi. I got kind of interested in seeing if you could pull it off. Well, oh yeah, the flashback then. Well, if I'm being perfectly honest with myself, the part about tickling the hearts of older men might have been tacked on for other reasons. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, so anyway, that's not particularly my type or anything. Apparently satisfied with my explanation, Sanchi closes her eyes and nods deeply. That's a very familiar gesture, but it's rare for her to ask this many questions of me in the first place. Yeah, how many has she asked me you now that I think about it? Like, three? Four? By the way, what do you think about that sort of person? <laughs> Ooh. When I ask for Sanchi's thoughts as an extension of this little experiment, she pauses for a moment before replying. Her expression suddenly grown serious. Oh, damn. It's 
if this is actually Sachi that she's talking about, is she hating herself for being selfish? No, it's, it's definitely got to be Sachi that's in the flashback. Otherwise, there's no e meaning to it at all. I bet you if it's in another, it was another route, it wouldn't even appear. So, it's got to be her. So... She's self-punishing herself with, like, being not... She can't be selfish. A bad thing, eh? Hi. Notice before that Sachi's judgments tend to be delivered in simple black and white terms. In particular, she has something of a habit of dividing things between the good and the bad. I'd always thought of it as a minor quirk, but from the strange emphasis she places on those words, I'm beginning to think it might be a central part of her worldview. I think you're right. Well, I guess that's enough of a break. Let's get back to the tests. Yeah, we big do the test. Deciding to refocus on the reason we're here, I cut off our meandering conversation. Sachi responds by promptly turning her notebook and oh no, notebook to a refreshing page of paper. Um, nah. I'm, I'm going to jump a few steps and start giving you problems from material we're not scheduled to learn in the school. <laughs> well, don't really have a choice. You're just that good. Damn. <laughs> Trust me, you're gonna be on party. You are going to be. I'm, I'm. I nearly said something bad. Then I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay, that's more than enough of that. I'm giving you the problems now, right? Hi. Now, good luck. <laughs> Did she not pass? As the scenery outside begins to take on the orange tint of early twilight. Sachi's pen comes to a halt after the last problem of the day. Solved it? So we found we found the limit, boys. And lady uh, boys and girls. I know recently I've got a ton of male viewers, uh, more recently anyway. Hmm. Haven't seen her this uncertain about a problem yet, but let's see. Dots. Picking up Sachi's notebook, I compare her work against the answer in the collection of problems. It's correct. She got a problem correct, even though she actually wasn't sure on it. But that that's the first sign. Apparently, Sachi's lack of confidence was genuine rather than an attempt at modesty. Judging from the way she slumps back in her chain with a relieved smile. From the look of things, she might finally make her first mistake tomorrow. Oh, damn. It's alright, don't worry. In that case, let's take it easy for a little while. I'll buy you something to drink. Yeah, as a thanks for the water. Oh? Hello? What? If you want some soda in particular, better say it now. Oh, okay. Hesitantly mumbling vague words, Sachi doodles small circles on her notebook paper. I see. So that's what it, this is about. Oh, taking an educated guess from Sachi's attitude, I gently bring my hand to rest on top of her head. She wanted some praise. And... <sighs> you did good today, Sachi. Yeah, give the hip pets. Pet dimmed. <laughs> and this time, I begin to slowly stroke her hair back and forth. <laughs> That's just pure. I love this. This is pure. Sachi lets out a quiet sigh as her eyes fall closed. Must have tickled a bit. You make the same face every time I do this. You know that? Reminds me of a kitten having its face cleaned by its mother. I could she just painfully lovable. <laughs> by which I mean you're just that defenseless. Damn. Jesus. <laughs> Well, uh, um, unconditionally, um, uh, moving on, uh, to what? And we see the hearts. 
Right. That about enough. How long did we head Pat for? Because I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be something there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be something right there. I'll finally stop the pit and said she wants my hand grows warm from the motion. My resp she responds with a polite little bow of thanks. Kind of, a, kind of an odd request though. Not like having your head stroked is going to help with your fatigue, is it? Oh damn. Oh damn, I got the healing hands. Down a fact. Impressively forceful and earnest words. Although I can't say that makes me makes them any less bizarre. But still, I've got to watch my step around this girl. Lately, these little petting sessions have started to feel oddly pleasant on my end as well. Aww, Cosby's growing soft. <laughs> Alright, so we're done with the testing for today. You have any other plans? Oh, ah, in that case, let's get back to the dawn before she starts throwing a temper tantrum. Hi. Yeah, get back with it, bitch. Yeah. Hello, Makina. The instant we enter the door, Makina's shouting in our faces, almost as if she foresaw the exact moment of our return. Yeah, okay, what's up? Oh? As she speaks, Makina holds something out to Sachi. Oh, Wait, what? そうだけど、これどこで？Why was it in the bath upstairs? No, they don't. Or maybe you just dropped it when you were cleaning. あ、さすが <laughs> <laughs> really? Who the hell is Mr. Nakamura? Putting aside that particular the mystery, it's pretty surprising that Sachi didn't realize it was missing. Yeah, she's Miss Perfect, so it was in the bath. Though. Put it in rice, in a tub, and then put it in an airing cupboard. That way you can get all the water out. Going underwater is probably going to be fatal unless you have some special waterproof model. Oh. Accepting her cell phone from Makina, Sachi gently slides it inside her cl- <laughs> Okay, she's gonna do it herself. Homemade heat. Yeah. Oh. I see the logic, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, ah. Just to be sure, that was an attempt at a joke, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, really, myself. All right, I see. All right, Sachi, forget I ask. Well, we are on your route, so yeah, that might happen. Apologies in advance. Oof. I'm sure your image is important too, but I think you should be more worried about getting a replacement for that phone as soon as possible. Never know when you'll really need it. Yeah. Okay. With those words, Satcha retrieves the dead cell phone from her bosom and returns it to its usual place in her pocket. Uh, oh god, are we gonna watch Magoda Man again? Well, can't say I have any plans, but. There we go. Magoda Man, kita! Tuna Fish Man is a Sunday morning show, right? And more importantly, wouldn't it be kind of creepy if I really did start cheering on a fresh fish superheroes with you? <laughs> I'll peel you like a banana here and now, you bogus <laughs> Jesus! Oh! Oh! What a quote! I'll peel you like a banana here and now. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the peeling I meant. 
You sure as hell aren't acting like it. <laughs> what was that noise? Hold on. But you feel like your daughter's been taken by a Yankee. I guess that's the feeling. And by the way, there, there's a term in Japan which is uh, used as Yankee, which is supposed to mean delinquent. So I wasn't on about like uh, American Yankees, just in case anybody's around there. Just there's no misunderstandings. But I think I'm going to continue for a bit more. Just a bit more. Maybe 10, 15 minutes more. There's no such thing as a woman who hates being complimented. You're telling me. One day when I casually complimented my master's appearance, she praised me in return with those words. From what she told me, the rule applies even to women who claim to dislike flattery. Oh, of course they love flattery. Sometimes complaining is just enough way of reacting to happiness. Hmm. Well, yeah, I guess you could say that. Yuji. Hello. Hello there, Michiru. Your famous twin tails are looking particularly good this morning. Huh? Okay, come on. I know that's the act. Michiru, whose gimmick is a prickly sun attitude, may say this. <laughs> and then she's happy about it afterwards. But judging from the way she's happily playing with her hair, as she skips up the stairs, I don't think my master spoke in error. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I picked up a knack for this sort of thing unconsciously at a fairly young age. Hmm. How, old, how young are we talking here? Playing outside for hours at a time to escape the awkward atmosphere at home, I developed a sly habit of inter uh, in ingratiating myself with the other kids through lavish praise. Awesome, I can't believe you can do that, or you got 100 points in your test, that's amazing, or whatever else seemed cool for. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a way of playing kiss ass, I guess is the way to put it. Um, just saying, hey, you're awesome, you managed to get all this right, I couldn't do that. Especially kissing up to the other person. Looking back on it, it was kind of a creep. I was kind of a creepy little brat in that respect. God damn. But as long as I kept up the compliments, nobody tried to harm me. And there were even some eccentrics who'd actively play with an otherwise gloomy little introvert like me. Okay, watch carefully. Here goes. Hiya! Well, well, did I put it off? <laughs> Thanks. I don't think it's that amazing, but today's the first time I managed it. I wanted to show you first, Yukon. Oh, this is this is the girl. This the tomboy. Of course, since I'd always thought of myself as the worthless scrap left over after the formation of my genius sister, I was probably pretty sincere in believing everyone I met superior to me. That was a delicate Ohio. Hello. Yeah. And here we have an exemplary personification of my master's teaching. Given an open choice of any reward, Sanchi specifically requested my praise. It's probably safe to say she fundamentally longs to be complimented. <laughs> uh, wait, was that jealousy right then? Wait, was that was that jealousy? I'd love to hear how you arrived at that question. <laughs> um, let me get this straight. You think a complex expression on my face means I'm indulging in obscene delusions? I mean, have you, have any of you guys seen me think? Uh, well, actually, if a couple of my buddies see this, they'll probably say, yeah, you probably do. I was like, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> but, um... I don't think it always means obscene delusions. Definitely. Hi. And sometimes I wonder if she fundamentally longs to be smacked upside the head. <laughs> That's right. But like I said yesterday, no cramming for this one. Jesus. Alright, yeah. Don't yawn! Ah, there we go. You're still making the rounds? 
There's the quote. It's Sachi indeed. With those words, Sachi pumps her fist slightly into the air, still clutching her broom. Maybe it's because she's able to wear this uniform more frequently during vacation, but the girls seem to be turning into even more of a may by temperament. Well, devoting yourself to volunteer work is all well and good, but make sure you don't give yourself heat strike out there. Hi. Uh, no, that's not the point. Yeah, even Yuji's like, what? I think I'm going to have to check up on her later for safety's sake. Agreed. Oh, hello. Well, did the phone ring or did I just get a message? A little before 1pm, a harsh, familiar electronic buzz from my breast pocket interrupts the leisurely afternoon. JB, huh? <laughs> After a moment of faint electronic noise, I hear a low, steady voice in the other end of the line. Yep, we're going to work and we can't do the final exam, it seems. Her tone is enough to tell me that this is not This is a phone call from my superior, not my guardian. No worries, I'm by myself at the moment. <laughs> Judging from the hurried way Jade be speaking, it seems this particular call may not have been planned in advance. Something serious might have come up unexpectedly. Damn. Do we have something tr something troublesome on our hands? Uh -huh. In other words, you want me as insurance in case things go south? I'll be ready in five. Don't thank me before a job. It's bad luck. <laughs> yeah, thank them after. You you always thank them after. Otherwise, uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, where do you need me? Oh, God damn it, that was my front door. Hold on. Sorry about that. Uh, my, uh... The door manager came in to swap some of the seats uh, for the other rooms, ready for the new people coming in next month. And in the meantime, I made myself a cup of tea. <sighs> I think this is the first time I've recorded with a cup of tea in hand in like forever. But let's continue. Affirmative. Placing the black cell phone on top of my desk, I quickly begin to change into my work clothes. Well, that's crappy timing. Yeah, literally, uh, just before the bloody test and all. Don't have any problem with doing the job I'm paying for, but I have plans to Sachi in the immediate future. And I can't just call her to let her know, since her cell phone's out of commission. Oh, yeah, that's right. Please be in the dorm. Please. Oh, well, right there. I throw open my door with a little prayer, startling Sachi as she's sweeping the lobby. Sachi, good timing. <laughs> I drink to that. <sighs> Sorry if you hate the sound, but I like my cup of teas. I mean, I do want a maid uniform as well. Just, uh, just want a maid uniform whilst I have my cup of tea, though. Sorry, I don't have the time to play along with your stupid jokes right now. Yeah. I just now got a call from call to work. Important job came up out of nowhere. Yeah. Yep, Chushio. As Sachi murmurs those words, there's a clear shade of regret in her face. It's one of the more easily comprehensible expressions I've ever seen from the normally poker face Sachi. Yeah. She wanted the head pats. Dots. No, I'm not cancelling, but I need to change the plan a bit. I hadn't been planning to say anything of the sort, but I find the words coming out of my mouth naturally. That took a, that look on her face probably had a lot to do with it. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, JB said the job's going to be quick, so I should be back in a few hours. We're not going to be back until night, are we? And she's still going to be in the class. All right, wait for me at the usual place, Sachi. Let's say 5 p.m. Oh? I should be the one saying that. Slightly late? She have some other plans for this afternoon? Fine by me. There's a possibility I'll be a little late myself, so don't worry about it. Exactly. Thank you. Then, at 17 o'clock, I'll be 
お待ちしています。ナイス。Yeah, that's a promise. I'll definitely make it. はい。Yeah, probably not. I'm just saying.、Uh, I'll try my best though. After giving Sanchi a quick pat on the head, I immediately rush out the front door. Oh, damn, I'm right in the market. Do it. Eyes fixed on my cell phone screen, I followed the directions JP sent me to the letter. When specifying a rendezvous point through electronic means, the instructions are always split into multiple parts in such a way that it's impossible to determine the end location without cross referencing every message. God damn, cryptic as hell. No wonder you, you have to be like some sort of soldier to figure that out. Okay. Apparently, this is a security measure of some sort, but it's an incredible pain in the ass for the person actually receiving the orders. Well, unfortunately, there's a few things like that as well. Just s a y As I draw near to my initial destination, a second set of instructions arrive. The map attached to the new email bears a single red dot. There we are. Overlaying the map with a visual scan of my surroundings, I determine that the point in question indicates a small public park. This isn't my first time in this neighborhood, but I never knew there was a park here. Don't tell me the park is literally the same park from the flashback, is it? Do it. Mm hmm. Ah, that was a good cup of tea. Finished it all.、Uh, my blood will be clean tonight. I met that kid in the park not too different from this one. Back in the days when I was a gloomy brat without any real friends. Oh, oh so it's similar to that one. Okay, it's not the same. My sister was a prodigy, especially as an artist, and the most, and the most I could do was stay out of her way. So I made a daily routine of heading off to a public park with a playground located a few miles away from our house. Few miles. How long did you walk? To, that would take like two hours, maybe. Damn. I went out of the way to choose out of my way to choose one a good distance away. Killed a little more time walking out and back. Better still, nobody in there knew who I was. When I was idling around in the, that playground, I didn't have to deal with people comparing me to my older sister. And I didn't have to listen to my father's vicious insults. Oh, wow. Okay, so your father's a, uh, a, a real piece of work, not just the mother. I guess you could say it was、uh, the closest thing I had to a safe space. Damn. But the days spent playing with sand by myself didn't last that long. One day, that girl marched right up to me. I don't remember much of the conversation, except for the conclusion. Okay then, let's play together. Wasn't asking either. Without giving me time to think it over, she pulled me around that tiny park all day long. She was an unbelievably pushy kid, to be sure. Laughed and smiled more than any el anyone else I'd ever known. But she never asked me more about myself than I wanted to tell. In other words, playing with her wasn't too bad on my end either. Aww. Before I knew it, I was heading to the park specifically for that purpose. Aww, that's cute. Of course, that only lasted a short while before that day came, but. So, when your sister went missing, you mean? I think that kid was a major reason I was able to enjoy everything I was going through back then. Aww. Okay, this really isn't the time to get all sentimental. As if to reinforce the point, a white minivan with a subtly different atmosphere draws to a halt a little ways away. Hey, kid, you want some candy? Take care of the job first. Think later. Yes, do it! Yep, sure. Roused from a half unconscious stay by JB's voice, I remove my sleep mask and step out of the car. Oh, wow. A sleep mask and all. I appreciate you dropping me off at school and all. But I've got to say, this car is a little too conspicuous and noisy on top of flashy. Well, yeah, that's true. So I'm a horse, got it. Oh, wait, no, she's not about the car. Don't think I'll ever understand your sense of aesthetics. Well, I guess she's probably not alone. I can picture Amine's eyes gleaming with enthusiasm. I bet she just literally creams whenever she hears the engine.、Mm. Heaving a small sigh, I glance to my side, where JB's currently peering through the gate into the school grounds. Looking for something in particular? Wait. Did I see something up in the windows a second ago? Or am I, am I imagining things? I was sure I saw something. Figured as much. Look, JB, I do understand the urge to mess around with the younger generation, but I'd really appreciate it if you could resist the impulse to make my life harder. Please. Mm hmm. 
If you're that concerned about my libido, then how about you help me out? Oh, damn. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Give me a little shove on the back as she passes by. JB slides smoothly back into the driver's seat of her car. <laughs> Alright, hold it, woman. Or not. She's gone. Yeah, she's gone. JB really lives for these little visits, doesn't she? But since she took me here directly, I'm back a good 15 minutes before 5. I'll be in plenty of time to meet up with Sachi, and she's going to be a bit late. No reason to sharpen my work uniform. Then might as well change first. Nice. And it was a quick job. Hmm? When I arrive precisely on time, I find the classroom completely empty. Pretty unusual for Sanchi, who makes a habit of showing up at the exact time specified. She did say she actually had a plan for later on, so I'm curious on what plans she made, but she never told us. Come to think of it, she did say she might be a little late. Guess I'll wait for a little for a while. Yeah. Okay. She's really late. Half dozing in the chair I flopped down onto some time ago, I mumbled to myself and glanced up at the clock. It's a solid hour past the time we agreed to meet. At this point, you'd expect some sort of contact. Well, she had, her phone doesn't work. Might as well see if any of the others know anything. This is weird. <laughs> when I returned to the dorm, Magna is standing by the, door, by the shoe rack. The instant I push open the door, she swiftly hides something or other inside. I'm not going to tell you to play pranks on Michiru and Sakaki, but keep it in moderation, alright? <laughs> well, yeah, that is kind of amusing. Oh, Jesus. Sh right, sure, fascinating. On a different note, do you know where Sachi went? Uh, that was the plan, but I waited for an hour after the time we set and she never showed up. Yes, yeah, freaking weird. Yeah, it's odd. Right, which is why I thought something else might have come up. Sure, you didn't ask. Sure, you didn't ask her for a favor or something. Oh. I see. This doesn't look very promising, but just in case, I should try our other classmates as well. Alright, after we've asked them, I will end the video. Sorry, Makina, but can you help me round up the others? Aye, aye, sir! Captain! Gather around all! <sighs> Fortunately, the other three were still in the dorm, so it doesn't take long to collect everyone in the lobby. Sorry about the sudden meeting, but do any do any of you have any idea where Sachi's gotten to? Now I'm... I don't know why I'm thinking back now to the thought that JB was like, yeah, it sounds like a soldier or something like that, which I would agree with, because it's very... I would say she's probably a soldier, because she's been trained in such a way to follow orders so perfectly. Even beyond that, to make sure she can even do what she can. How about you, Sakaki? Little after three? Oh. Uh, I had work, I'm sorry. Hard to say. We promised to meet in the classroom at five, but Sachi never showed. Oh yeah, as soon as the words leave my mouth, three voices responded in uneasy chorus. Apparently I'm not the only one more than a little surprised by Sachi blowing off a prearranged meeting. Oh yeah. Uh, so, one yeah, go ahead. After a moment of silence, Michiri raises her hand tentatively into the air. What is it, Michiri? Some relevant information come to mind? If you're gonna mention her phone, it's broken. I didn't mean to cut off her voice, then I apologize. Aha. I see. By all means, please share your insight with us. 
やユージにそこまでお願いされちゃ仕方ないわよね<笑> I'm いいから早く言えよパチキンパチキンキー<笑>キーおすっげえ睨まれた<笑>いい一度しか言わないからみんな、はあ、食いしばってよく聞きなさいよ。It. 食いしばってどうするのよ。Yeah. つまり、サチの携帯に電話すれば、一発解決間違いなしよ。Alright, somebody fire out the building. <笑>どう、すごいでしょう。で、あれ、みんなして、なんでやっちゃった。みたいな顔してるの Because it's broken. 実際やっちゃってるからじゃねうそ。もしかして、松島さんのアンテそれだけだったの Yeah, she hyped it up and it was disappointing. Just like her attitude. <laughs> 私、何か変なこと言った<laughs> Yes, he did. 変なことというより、そのアンはみんなを集める前に試しているのが前提なんじゃない Yeah. うぐ。Yeah, you didn't think of that one. In the first place, Sachi's phone is out of commission at the moment. Hey, Sachi no kate, I go at it at the no? Yeah. Yeah, it was discovered diving in the bathtub just last night. Stano yosa. Hey, so it was a good issue on the cotton. Just back off slowly. A weak attempt at a smile plastered awkwardly across her face. Mitsuru shrinks before our eyes. Mitsuru ni stewa. I mean, you would normally think that, yeah. Well, you're the only twin tail, so you've got that one. Anyway. Yeah, very narrow. I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have said the last part. Maybe it was a mistake to bring these people into the, dis into the discussion in the first place. Yeah, I think so. Well, you're not wrong there. Probably not. Yeah. yeah, so they wouldn't, they wouldn't do a missing persons report. Yeah, yep, I think the exact same. She did tell me that she, she did tell me she might be late for one thing. Nodding with evident conviction, Sakaki closes her eyes. Objectively speaking, her argument is definitely reasonable. Oh, yes. Um... Yeah. Michiru and Makina seem to reach the same conclusion. The group looks silently in my direction, anticipating a decision. Wait, why? Okay, let's wait and see for the moment. Yeah. If Sachi still isn't back by this evening, I'll get in touch with the principal and ask her about the next step. <laughs> yeah, that's the best approach, Yep. Alright then. Okay, I'm going to head back to the classroom and try waiting for Sachi there. But I'd like, to, uh, but I'd like a volunteer to contact me in case she comes back to the dorm instead. Is this alright, I wonder? Yeah, it's very weird for her to go missing. So I'm a bit like... Eh? She's not going outside, is she? <laughs> oh, damn. Whoa, Michiru was actually bang on for once. <laughs> damn. Since these four have spent considerably more time living with Sachi, there's no reason that they understand her better than I do. Considering that, there's no reason to refuse their help when it's voluntarily offered. Oh, definitely. Sorry for the hassle. I appreciate this. Yeah. I'll make sure of it. And I'm going to end this video here. Because we got the music. And I'm pretty sure it's going to go into something interesting when I come back. So, unfortunately, guys, I am all out of time for this part. Anyway. But that doesn't mean 
I'm going to make another recording of this right after. But, for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want any more from me. And I shall see you in the next video. So long, guys. I will most certainly see you next time. Ho oh, damn. Ho oh, damn, oh 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 damn. Where did she go? Where did she go? I really want to know.